All right, let's do this. So we're going to be doing tons of punches and kicks and medium to long size combinations. So get ready to work. So in order that first, we need to get warmed up. All I want you to do is just throw a simple one, two, three. That's a straight left, straight right, left hook. You know the punches, just go with your own speed. If you, if you don't know the punches, just go a little slower with me. So just a one, two, three, moving around in between. So just a one, two, three. Bounce around, move around, circle. So it's not just non-stop punching. We need that blood flowing. You got to get those legs waking up, get some bounce in your step. So it's a one, two, three. There should be a couple seconds in between. You can bounce around, move around the space you have there. Use the whole area you have to move around. Once you know the punches, then it's a one, two, three. You don't even have to stare at the, at the screen while you're doing it. Just move around, circle. One, two, three. Don't forget on your two. You don't know your punches. One is your straight left. Your two is your straight right. Hit with this right foot. Your three is the left hook. So if you need to see my whole body, make sure you have the screen pinned on the one that shows the entire body where you can see my feet from head to toe. So it's a one, two, three, bounce around, move around, light on your feet. We're just flowing, just get warmed up. One, two, three, and turn. Bounce, flow, make sure you're breathing for each punch also. So each punch should be a short burst of air. Breathe it out, light on your feet, bounce in your step. There we go. Even if you have a bag, you should be moving back away from the bag and then back in. Throw the punch, move back out, or circle to the left around your bag, and then do three punches again. You want to get the body moving, get the body flowing. Energy level up. So we don't want to just stay in place doing the same combo. We need energy. Bouncing your step. Use that space. You don't want to get used to just being stuck right in place. You have plenty of space there to move. No matter how little space you have, you have plenty of space. So straight left, straight right, left hook. Simple stuff. Couple more seconds. Just get it moving. Keep it moving. It's just a one, two, three. Straight, straight, hook. Left, right, left. Yes. And good. That's time. Let's get our walking forward, our big loose forward shoulder circles. Walking forward, then walk backwards with backwards shoulder circles. Loosening up those shoulders, getting them greased up. Ready to throw thousands of punches today. One day we need to do a count how many punches we actually get in a 60 minute session. It's gotta be a couple thousand. Backwards shoulder circles while you're walking backwards. Forward while you're walking forward. One more time each. Backwards going back. Forward. Going forward. And that's good. On your legs. Find something to hold on to if you can. A wall, doesn't matter what. The chair, you don't really need anything to hold on to. It's just to have balance to swing your leg. You're just the hips side to side. You can see I'm swinging that. So when I go to the left, I'm pointing my toes to the left. I come to the right, I'm opening my hip up. Because we're already throwing some kicks and knees. So just hold on to something and swing that leg. You really don't even need to hold on to anything. It just helps with you really whip it. You don't want to muscle up there. Just swing it, whip it. You want to grease up the hips now. With all the kicks and knees you're about to throw. And switch to the left side. So we're going side to side with that. Open the toe up. So when I go to the right, my toe is hip is turning to the right. I go to the left, I'm opening up my inner thigh and hip and pointing the toes out to the left. It's just whipping through them, not muscling through. It's loose. The hip joint is loose, flipping, flopping over as I just whip it. And that's good. Let's move around. Let's go back to the combo. We're going to go four, five, six. So just our basics, our right hook, left uppercut, right uppercut. So just four, five, six, and then move around, bounce, flow, rhythm, hands up, whoa, whoa, whoa. Light on your feet. I need some energy, I need some flight. I gotta see those feet moving. You're stopping for those three punches, you get right back on the move. Four, five, six. So that's hook, upper, upper. Be one, two, three for the first combo. So these are not even combos we're doing during the workout. It's just to get you loosened up. Get refresh of the numbers if you don't know. So if you don't know, we'll slow it down. It's a four is your right hook. Five is your left uppercut. Six is your right uppercut. Four, five, six. Bounce. Move. Rhythm. Flow. Boom, boom, boom. Five, six, about 15 more seconds. We are just getting warmed up, just getting blood flowing. Keep it moving. Bounce in your step. Four, five, six. Bam, bam, bam. There it is. And time. All right.
Let's go to those shoulders again. We're going to fling it open, stretch the left shoulder. Hold it just for one or two seconds. While your feet are still moving, just side to side, front and back, whatever. Keep those legs moving. You're just moving around, keeping that energy up, keeping the blood flowing. Fling it open, just open up your chest, then stretch your shoulder. Fling it and stretch. Fling it and stretch, keeping those feet moving. Catch it and stretch it. Yes. We're gonna go back to those hip swings, except it's gonna be a forward hip swing. So if you're holding onto on your side, we're gonna go with the right leg only, fling it up, fling it up. Actually, if you're going with your right side, hold on with your right hand. So keep your right leg so you can actually reach up and whip that left side in close. So your left hand goes back with your right leg and up, loosening up the hips. The hamstrings, this should be going front and back, not side to side. It should be going straight forward, not side to side. Breathing. It's just whip. It's a whipping it up. It's a loose hip. And it's extending back behind you a little bit also, so it's opening up your hip flexor at the back. You're going to be mixing in a lot of kicks and knees later on. And switch sides. So hold on with your left hand. You're going to kick with your left leg and reach with your right hand. Breathe it out. Opening up the hip, hip flexor. Loosening up the hamstring, stretching it a little bit. While you whip that up there. Breathe it out. A couple more, two more. And time, and just put all six of those punches together. So there's a one, two, three, four, five, six. And move around, bounce around the floor with your hands up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move around. Breathe it. So again, you don't know your numbers. Your one is your straight left. Two is your straight right. Three is left hook. Four is right hook. Five is left uppercut. Six is right uppercut. So it's just a one, two, three, four, five, six. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn that body into that. Pivot those feet. Turn the hips. Breathe it out. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. So it's a left, right, left, right, left, right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you move around. Once you circle and bouncing, pivoting all over the place, then stop, throw your six punches, and get back on the move. We need those legs working, those legs bouncing around. We need energy to flow. Blood flowing, ready to rock. All over the place, moving around. See a few of you got bags, that's awesome. Smash it. Three or four bags in there. All right, and time. And just shake those arms out, bounce it out. Getting ready for our next combo. We're gonna start real simple combos to get started and we're going to gradually build on that and alternating punch combos with kick combos non-stop from your punch combo kick throughout the day so we're going to start real simple all the combos are going to be alternating combos so for first set for instance is just a one two one because we want speed on these combos so it's so easy to go fast on that and all when we did like the one two three four five six you have to stop it's like kind of a lot of punches you want quick short first here to start and then reset so it's a one two one Right down the middle. I need speed on this. So I need a lot of those in there. You can reset it between. You don't need as much footwork as before. But I need some speed on those. So one, two, one. Reset. Reset. That's the on the reset, I'm still bouncing. I'm still moving. You just don't need as much footwork. If those arms need a breather or you're feeling the rhythm. Circle out to the left. Move a little bit in between. But I need those punches coming in fast. Machine gun punches. Left, right, left. One, two, one, ha, 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 right there. Yes, keeping it moving, keeping it rolling. Just like that. Straight punches, make sure those punches are coming through your chin. Keep those hands up, Edu, keep those hands up in your chin, keep them up, don't let them drop in between. There we go, let's go for speed here, just get nice and warmed up right now. Spend a good amount of time moving around, warming up, shaking, twisting, flinging, stretching. So by now, you should be going full speed, one to one. Full speed, but still turning your body. Don't forget to pivot on the two. Let your body turn into that two. So you're still turning into it. Whip that hip. 
There you go. Moving around. Make sure those arms are fully extended. Those of you on the bags, don't let your elbows crunch up too much. You need a little more arm extension. Joseph, make sure your arms extend. These are straight punches, fully extended punches. Don't get too close to the bag, crammed up like you need to do hooks. There you go. Just make sure the arms are fully extended. Jen, don't drop that right after you, after you throw it. Your right hand's dropping down to your hip. Keep that hand up. After you throw the two, you're dropping it to your hip. Keep it up. There you go. So let's hands stay up. Whatever hand is not punching is up in your chin. Right there. Yes, yes, yes. Couple more, a couple more. We're just getting rolling. And time. Just to get those legs a little more warmed up, just a jack. Just a normal section jack. Just to your break in between combos. Light on your feet, legs only, hands to your guard, core tight, bouncing your step. Just to keep the blood flowing. To keep getting us rolling. We're still just getting moving. And time. Now you're going to go the opposite of that combo. All the combos are going to be all things. Now you're going to two, one, two. The exact opposite. Look at my arms fully extended. Look at my hip on the twos. Two, one, two. So your body should be turning. Three, two, one, and let's do it. Two, one, two. Two, one, two. Even that one should be really strong because it's coming off a pivoting two. So if you pivot on that two on the first one, when I snap into that left hand, pop, I should get a real stiff one in there. Don't just waste it because it's the one. Don't think that ones are just a weak little waste, that a jab is a waste. A jab should be still just as vicious, get a good pop on it, especially coming off of this two because you're going to turn your hips, pop, and turn that shoulder into it. Two, one, two. Turn those hips. Two, one, two. Two is your straight right. One is your straight left. Two is your straight right. Two, one, two. Yes. Keeping it moving, keeping it rolling. Banging, banging, banging. Two, one, two. Bouncing your step. Reset in between. So don't just go nonstop with just your arms. One, three, fast, hard, vicious, quality technique in your punches, and then reset, regroup, and then do it again. So it shouldn't just be nonstop arms punching. Complete reset. Extend those arms. Rebecca, straighten those arms out a little bit. Let them fully extend on these straights. Should be all the way out there. Full extension. Your wrist should be turning over. Think about when you're throwing these straight punches. Like if you had a cup holding it by the handle and you're pouring something out of the cup. That's how you should be turning your wrists on these. Two, one, two. Right down the middle. Reset in between. There you go, Howie. Just hands up in between. If you're holding weights, don't let them sag you down or, or strain your shoulders. Control them. Stay strong. Stay stiff. Yes, Christine. Good pace. Good extension on the punches. Yeah. Good dance moves. I don't remember. I don't remember demonstrating that technique, but whatever works, whatever gets blood flowing. I don't think you will see me demonstrate that technique. Two, one, two. Straight, straight, straight. Right, you need to use your reach on these. Use your extension. They should be fully extended out there. And time. We're going to go right into our first kick combo. The kick combos are going to pretty much match the punch combo, the front kick and knees. So the first combo was a one, two, one. So we're going to be on left kick, right knee, left kick. So same concept. So it's just alternate kick, knee, kick. Take your time, get your stance, get your balance to happen. So it's a left front kick, right knee, left front kick. If you need to switch your stance to that left front kick, do what you have to do. If you can maintain your balance, or keep your stance here, boom, boom, boom. Just let it flow. Whatever works for you. As long as you're getting a left front kick, a right knee, and a left front kick. And then after that, move around. You need to regroup, get your balance. So don't just keep your feet right in place. Even if you just step and bounce an inch away, we need some movement in between. Otherwise, your legs are going to get too stiff, and you won't flow into that next combo. We need that first one to be flowing off your bounce. Kick, knee, kick. Reset, get your stance back, get your balance back. You might be not a little off balance. Stay focused, stay balanced. There you go, Donna. Nice front kicks on the bag. Bend the knee and extend. Even when you're doing those front kicks, try to keep your hands somewhat up. 
That's three kicks in a row. So you don't want your face exposed for three full strikes. So keep those hands up while you're throwing these strikes. It's all lower body. All the leg strikes, all the lower body combos there are going to be by themselves. So we're not going to be mixing upper and lower together at all until maybe the very end. But for the most part, all these lower body combos are going to be by themselves. The kicks and knees, so keep those hands up. Protect the face. So left kick, right knee, left kick. Reset, bounce, flow. Light on your feet. There it is, Michael. Nice reset, nice movement in between. There it is. Just keep those hands up. Even on the in-between, when you're moving around and bouncing around and flow, those hands have to stay up, elbows have to stay in. So don't get used to when you recover putting your hands down, because then you're going to be exposed. Keep those hands up. Rolling. Nice. And time. So now it's the exact opposite. Just like we did a two, one, two, we're now going to do a front kick, front, a right front kick, left knee, right front kick. So the opposite of the kick combo we just did. So again, it's a right front kick, left knee, right front kick, move around, reset, kick, knee, kick, right, left, right. So right front kick, left knee, right front kick. Bounce around, flow, rhythm, boom, and boom, knee, boom, keeping those hands up. On that front kick, bend the leg and extend, drive it. Keep that core tight while you're throwing these kicks and knees. That's going to hold you together. Breathe it out. Little burst of air. Breathe it out. Hands up, hands up. Edo, keep those hands up while you're kicking, while you're kneeing, while you're moving in and out. There you go, Howie. Good bounce and rhythm in between. Find your flow. There's no punches here, Jen. It's just a kick combo. We're just comparing the rhythm to the same pattern as the punches. So it's just right front kick, left knee, right front kick right now. Here we go. Keep rolling. Tracy, nice stance, nice technique. We're going to keep those hands up. Oh, I'm training in the dark, but I can see the shadow. It looks like a ninja creeping in the night. But I see the technique looking good. And time. So we're going back to, to our next punch combo. In between these, just shake it out. It's not going to be much time between. Just enough time for me to tell you what's coming up. Just like we had a one, two, one, and a two, one, two for our first punch combos. Now it's going to be three, four, three. Next one after that will be four, three, four. It's going to follow the same pattern. So right now it's three, four, three. Three. So move around again. Slow. So boom, boom, boom. And reset. Three, four, three. So that's left hook, right hook, left hook. Your waist, your abs, your hips, your legs, they should be firing up on this because they're constantly changing directions. Combos like this are actually harder to do in the air than they are on the bag. It's almost as much work or sometimes even more work in the air because you have to slam on the brakes and change directions without impacting anything. That takes a lot of core work, a lot of leg work, a lot of hip work to slam on the brakes and change directions without impacting the bag. So don't think just because you're hitting the air that you're not getting as much work. You're getting just as much work at, at some, in some areas even more. Because you have to decelerate those punches. Take so much leg and core work to change directions. Makes you focus on that balance a lot more. You don't have that bag to stop you. Move it around, move it around in between. It's just a three, four, three. Reset, hands up. Hard punches, elbows up and out. These are power punches, should be pretty close to the bag, closer than you were for the straight punches because the straight punches, you were fully extending if you're on the bag. So now you should be at, at mid range to get those hooks in there. Three, four, three. Pivot those feet on every single punch. Shift your weight. Move around. Bounce around. There we go. Keep it rolling. Keep it flowing. Hips and legs. The power is coming from the ground up. Oh, oh, oh. Vicious. Power strikes. Bring it out. There it is. Tons of core obliques, lats, hips, glutes, legs. Your 
whole body's working on this. Nice. And time. All right. We're just going to do front to back jacks. This will be light front to back jack as you're breaking between these two punch combos. There's two punch combos in a row. Just a little bounce in your step. This is just a fill-in. This is just to keep your blood flowing. Hands up. Next one, let's go. Right to it is going to be a four, three, four. So this is your rear hook, your backside hook, your right hook, left hook, right hook. This should be vicious combo because it's leaving that power hand. Boom, boom, boom. Body weight into each punch. Strong, solid connections. Here we go. Get those elbows up and out. Get those elbows a little higher. Rebecca, get those elbows up and punch the side. Bring those hooks. Here we go. Keep rolling. Right, left, right. Here you go, Diane. Keep those hands up in between. Whatever hand's not punching, stays up in your chin. Right, left, right. You need to keep that left hand up when your right hand is throwing. And that right hook throws, that left hand needs to be up high. When the right hand throws, left hand throws, the right hand needs to be up high. Always keep one hand home, protecting your face. Boom, boom. No matter how fast you're throwing those, that other hand needs to get back to protect your face. Four, three, four, four, three, four. Boom, boom, boom. It should be three vicious power punches. Here you go, Joanna. Nice punches. Keep moving. Just move those legs around in between a little bit. Step to the side or front or back just to reset that stance every single time. So we're not just stuck in the same place. You step, take a step back, take a step to the right, to the left. Pivot, move. Once you know the combo, you don't need to stare at the screen the whole, the whole time. So you can move it around. There we go. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Four, three. Four. Dig, dig, dig. Nice. Bouncing the step in between. A couple more, a couple more. Finish it. And time. So now we're going to hit the reverse of the two kick combos we did earlier. If you remember, we did left kick, right knee, left kick. We're going to do the exact opposite. So now it's going to be left knee, right kick, left knee. So we're going to leave with the knee instead of leading with the kick. We're going to hit both variations of that. So let's start with left knee, right kick, left knee. See how that's kind of matching the pattern of the punches. So let's do it. <clears throat> left knee, right kick, left knee. You can use both your hands as a target for that knee to come up and hit and even make contact with your hands on the knee. On the kick, make sure you're bending the leg and extending it, driving it forward. That right kick forward. So it's left knee, right kick, Left knee, move around and reset. You have to bounce around and reset in between. Otherwise, those kicks are going to be too stiff. You need to have that rhythm, that flow, that reset. Power on those kicks. Drive with your hips on the knees. It should be boom, driving forward. Don't just think you're hitting the air. You need to go full speed, full power, full intensity. Knee, kick, boom, knee. R, crunch in the core. Punch in your abs. Explode with those legs. With the hands up in between while you're moving around. Flow, flow, flow. Circle it around. It's hands up, hands up. Just it's a kick combo. Doesn't mean you don't keep the hands up. You might build a little momentum with the hands sometimes to get that little oomph behind it, but get them back up. Get those hands up, Christine. Get them up, get them up, get them up. Not up in the air. It's not a stick up. It's not a robbery. I mean, up under your chin. Tracy, left knee, right front kick, left knee. Only three. <laughs> left knee, right front, left knee. And reset. And time. All right, we're going to go right into the opposite of that. So if you've been paying attention to following the pattern, you would know that means right knee, left kick, right knee, hitting all different variations of patterns. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. So 
It's a right knee, left kick, right knee. Find the balance. Reset after each combo. You need to reset. Don't just go right to the next one after that third strike lands. You're going to be way off balance. Your feet aren't going to be in place. You need to bounce and get back to that stance, back to that rhythm, back to that balance and distance. Especially if you have a bag because you have to find your distance again. Because between a long range kick, close range kick, long range, you have to keep changing your distance and balance. Hands up in between, bounce and rhythm. Let's see some violence on these. Let's see some viciousness. Boom, kick, boom. Right knee, move. Get those knees up there. Don't just get lazy with that knee and just flick it up there. That, thing, that thigh should be higher than parallel. Boom, while I'm extending back. Give your hands as a target. If you don't have a bag, so you're just here. Boom. On that right knee. It's so right knee, left kick, right knee. There it is. Keeping it moving. Nice work, nice work. Bouncing your step. There it is, there it is. Hands up in between, hands up in between. Flow, move around, reset, circle, and time. We're going right away to our uppercuts. Same patterns we did for the other, so it's just five, six, five to start. Five is your left uppercut, six is your right upper, five is your left uppercut. You know, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Five, six, five, move around. So now you should be tight, close, right here. And reset, get your abs into it, your waist into it. Get some energy, get some flow. Boom, boom, boom. Five, six, five. Dig, dig, dig. Left, right, left, these are all uppercuts. Think about punching underneath the chin, landing underneath someone's chin. It's close range punches if you're on the bag. Move it around, pick that target, you're close to yourself. Boom, boom, boom. Left, right, left, five, six, five. Keep it a move. Bouncing in your step. Oh yeah, light on your feet. Hands up, hands up, hands up. When you throw those uppercuts, they can't be coming from here. They gotta be coming from here, from your chin. You should be here, tight, tight. See, even when I'm punching, my shoulder's kind of protecting my chin, the other hand is up, the uppercut's in front of it, so it's always tight, giving you some kind of protection. Don't drop those hands. Five, six, five. Bounce, reset, keep those elbows in tight to your ribs. You're in position to punch right there, all you gotta do is twist and shovel, boom! Five, six, five, get that waist into it. Tons of core work here. Obliques, your lats, your shoulders. Five, six, five. Boom, boom, boom. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Nice. Couple more, couple more. Finish it strong, finish it strong. And time. At the end of the entire first segment, we're going to break it up right here and get a little cardio round in between. So we're going to start with a squat thrust to a plank and punch. So it's going to be four exercises right here to go. So you're going to squat thrust down while you're down here, two punches. Squat thrust back up and come up. You need to modify it, just walk it back. Or if you really need to modify it, have your hands elevated somewhere and jump back or elevated and even step back. So it's always a way to do it. Always a way to modify. But at the bottom position, you're hitting two punch, plank and punch. So it's squat thrust to plank and punch. Going in three, two, one, and boom. Squat thrust, plank and punch. The two punches you do down there, make it a different two punches every time. So one time go left, right. Next time go right, left. Next time go left, left. Next time go right, right. Mix it up. Two punches down there every time. Straightforward punch. If you have a bag, you're actually hitting the bag. I don't care how high that bag is, you're gonna reach up and hit that sucker. If you have a bag, you should be punching the bag. Or couch. Or person. Whatever. Add strong. Jump back. Pop, pop. Make sure you're switching up how you're punching, whether it's a left, right, a right, left, left, left. Right, right, 
a different variation of those two punches each time just to mix things up. So you're not always going in the same pattern. Squat thrust down there. Modify it if you have to. Down, jump back, punch, punch, jump in, squat up. Also, make sure you're squatting down when you go down there. Don't lean over at the waist and just flop over at the waist. You have to squat down. There you go, modifying the chair. There you go, golden. Just like that, keep the pace going. Nice work. Tracy, good pace, keep pumping it. Come on, nice Pat. jump back. Two punches at the bottom. You're feeling crazy and you have those light dumbbells there. I'm down there at the bottom. You know the punches you're down there. You're feeling crazy. I don't know how we had dumbbells, I think. There you go. Be a little harder. But that's what we're here for. Two more. Two more. Last two. Last two. And time. Second exercise for this little intermission round is going to be a wide stance. So you're going to do a crawl out. Just one crawl out. Crawl back in for two jack punches. Two jack punches, one left, one right, standing up. Don't forget the jack punch. Your feet are apart when you punch. So when you crawl out, your feet are going to be apart. So you're going to need to jump them together. Then jump apart, together, apart, together. Weighted gloves. Golden's got weighted gloves on. Nice. I like it. There was a boxer one time who put... In a professional match, after he had his gloves inspected, he inserted a bunch of cement inside his gloves. Happened a few times. A few of them got caught. Actually knocked the guy out. He was a concussion. He snuck cement inside his gloves. Some, like, pasty cement stuff. Make his gloves heavier. Broke someone's jaw. Bounce in your step at the top. Don't forget, your feet go apart. You punch to the left. They come together. They go apart. You punch to the right. And then together. So find that rhythm, because when you come in from that crawl, your feet are going to be apart. So you need to jump together before you start punching. So it's just one crawl out, crawl out to jack and punch. You need to modify the jack, just step out while you punch. Pop, pop. There we go. If you can't do the full crawl out for whatever reason, just make it a squat and a knee raise. Squat, knee raise, if you can't go on the arms at all for some reason. Also, sometimes when I'm talking, I'm talking to all of you here live, but there's also a good percentage of people that watch recordings. We also want to talk to them at the same time. So even though none of you might need, not need to do that, someone watching this later might need to do it. So that's why we throw that stuff in sometimes. Crawl it out, come in, and pop, pop, and time. All right, we're going sit out to crunch a punch, the third of the four here. So sit out to crunch a punch, you're here. You're gonna sit out right, skip across, sit out left, blow right onto your back, crunch and punch for two reps. Right back to the sit out, sit out, sit out, down here, sit up for two punches, crunch and punch. So two sit outs, two crunch and punch. So sit out, sit out, and sit up, punch, punch, sit up, punch, punch. So it's four total punches here. Flow right from that second sit out, flow and, and spin right onto your back. Find a rhythm, whether you get the extra spin or not, or just drop right into the crunch, doesn't matter. Just keep it moving. Find a rhythm and flow that works for you where you can keep it smooth. Make sure the arm you're bouncing off of the sit out, you bend it to help lower your hip down to the floor. Don't lock Good, it Howie, opposite no. leg, opposite leg, Howie. Don't turn all the way. Turn halfway. Other leg. Other leg. So sit out and then two crunch and punch. So 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Keep it rolling. Nice, nice, nice. Finish strong. Sit up and two punches. Mix up your two punches every time you come up also. Sometimes go left, right, sometimes right, left, sometimes right, right, sometimes left, left. Try to rotate between those four in order or whatever, as long as you're mixing it up. And time, and the fourth one for this intermission round 
is mountain climber to run and punch. So you're gonna come down here for four mountain climbers, one, two, three, four, come up for four run and punch, four punches. Right back down, four mountain climber, four run and punch. You're gonna blast your heart right here. Let's do it, three, two, one, and go. The faster you go, the shorter amount of time we'll do these for us. I need to see you pump in there. Four climber, then four run and punch. Climbers four means four totals. That's just two kicks each leg. That's all you gotta do. And then the punches is counting your punches, not your knees. The run and punch, four punches while your knees are kicking. So it's just high knees, straight punches. Thighs get parallel to the floor, arms fully extend. Mountain climber to run and punch. Extend those arms, Diane, try to extend those arms on that run and punch. Full extension. That's good. Get those mountain climbers. Come on. Climb that mountain. Happy hump day. Get over the hump. Christine, you better be moving. Yeah, yeah I know you want to. <laughs> Not that move. Steve, anyway, you can uh, fix your mic. A little low. I don't know, it's just a little low. Any better? Better. One, two, one, one, two. Right down the middle, straight, straight, straight. Bring that left hand back, boom, boom. Right there. Couple more, couple more. And time, you do the exact opposite of that now, just starting with the two. Two, one, two, two, one. So it's a lot of right foot pivots and right hip turning. Two, one, two, two, one. So you have to double up that two, that means pivot, boom. Double pump that right hand in the middle. Two, one, two, two, one. Right, left, right, right, left. Two, one, two, two, one. Just because they're fast doesn't mean you lose the strength and power on that right hand. It needs to still be strong every single time. And then use that turn on the right to give you a good pop on your left. So that left hand should have a good pop to it. You're turning off of the right. Two, one, two, two, one, hands up. So that's a straight right, straight left, straight right, another straight right, boom, finish with straight left. Two, one, two, two, one. Reset in between. There you go, Donna, nice combo, you got it. Once you have it down, then start picking up the pace. There it is, nice. Breathe for each one, little exhale. Exhale for each shot. Cruising, we're cruising. Keep it moving. 
There you go, Goldman. Just move those legs in between on the reset. I see you in the darkness. Light on your feet in between. Bounce and reset. And stay up. And time. Yes. So we're going to go with these same patterns now for the kick combos. You can follow them along. So it's going to, we did already. Left kick, right knee, left kick. We're just going to add on the same pattern that we just did for the punches. So it's going to be left kick, right knee, left kick, left kick, right knee. So it's just left kicks and right knees. All you got to think about, so it's just left, right, left, left, right. You can just say it in your head as long as you know it's left kick and right knee. Left kick, right knee, left kick, left kick, right knee. Or just think left, right, left, left, right. Same exact pattern we just did in our punches. It's just left kick and right knee. That's it. So right now, you're just setting your brain that the left side is kicking, the right side is kicking. All you need to tell yourself is left, right, left, left, right. Left, right, left, left, right. Left, right, left, left, right. Lefts are kicks for now. Rights are knees. You don't have it down, go a little slower so you can catch it. Left kick, right knee, left kick, another left kick, finish right knee. Left kick, right knee, left kick, left kick. Right knee. A lot of leg work going there. A lot of shifting of your weight. A lot of glute work and hip work, and balance work, core work by shifting side to side. After the full combo, reset, get your bearings back, get your balance back, and then do it again. Keep those hands up the whole time. Stay focused. Don't you go through the motion on these kicks. It should be boom. These knees should be solid. Full speed knees. Whip that kick out there, drop it out. Left kicks and right knees. 15 more seconds. Yes. Finish strong, finish strong. And time. So we're doing just the exact opposite of that. Now it's just right kicks and left knees. So it's going to be right kick, left knee, right kick, right kick, left knee. So now just put in your brain, right kicks and left knees. That's it. So it's just right, left, right, right, left. Right, left, right, right, left. Right kicks and left knees. Let's do it. Still walking through it if you don't have it yet. Right kick, left knee, right kick, right kick, left knee. So it's just right, left, right, right, left. Same exact pattern we did in the punches. The way we add to those combos. So it's right kick, left knee. Right kick, right kick, left knee. Right, left, right, right, left. Right, left, right, right, boom! Left on the knee. Make sure those left knees are strong. Use those abs to get that knee up there. Hands up the whole time in that guard. Control it while you're moving. Make sure you reset before each combo. After each combo's over, move around. Get your stance back. Get your balance back. Because this is a whole shitload of shifting your weight. Going from kicks to knees to left to right. A lot of your weight shifting side to side. Working tons of extra little muscles in there. Feel those abs tight. Move around in between, light on your feet. There you go, Michael. Use a lot of space. Nice. Keep circling around just like that. Use your space. You have energy, high energy. Drive that leg in there. There you go, Diane. Get those knees up there. Crunch it. Crunch in the core. Bend the leg and extend. It's right, left, right, right, left. Yes. Finish strong. A couple more. One or two more in this combo. Cruising. We're cruising. And time. Shake those out for a second. We're going to go back to our punches. So the, we're going to keep the same pattern going with the following. So we just did a one, two, one, one, two for the straight. So now we've got the same exact pattern for our hooks. I'm just taking time to explain this to give you a half a second to catch your breath and sip some water. So you're just going to three, four, three, three, four. So it's just a left, right, left, left, right. 
Yes, it's exactly the same pattern as it was with the straights. We're just now falling for the hooks. So it's just three, four, three, three, four. So the only slight hesitation is that double three. Make sure double three doesn't just do this with your arm. Let's do it in three, two, one, and go. Make sure you're coming all the way back in between that double hook. So it's a full punch. Three, four, three, three, four. Elbows up and out. Turn those hips. Hip at those feet. We're moving. We're cruising. Making it happen. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Yes. Hands up. Hands up. Three, four, three. Three, four. Nice. Make sure it's not just your arms. Throw on the punches. Turn. 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 Even on that double three, it should be boom, boom. You should feel that left side of your waist crunching in, the left leg pumping. Hands up, hands up, whatever hand's not punching, up at your chin. There you go, nice hooks on the bag, Joseph. Nice hooks, get that body into it. Those of you on those bags, dig in, sink it in. Get some power into those. There you go, Edu, Edu's done hiding. She was hiding for a minute, she's back. Nice work, Clara, nice work. Move around, good technique. Let's get those hips into it, just a drop more. Some body, boom, boom. So it's your legs and, and hips throwing that punch, not just your arms, there we go. Three, four, three, three, four. Couple more, couple more, finish this off. And time, right away, we're gonna go the opposite. So it's just a four, three, four, four, three. Just look at my double four here. Four, three, four. I come all the way back to the second four. So don't just fling your arm out there. It's got to be boom, boom, double toilet. And go. Four, three, four, four, three. Right hook, left hook, right hook, right hook, left hook. Four, three, four, four, three. Let's do it. Nice, 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 nice movement. Nice footwork, Rebecca. Keep it rolling. Good hooks, Tracy's. Get those hips to drop more into it. There you go, Donna. Smash the bag. Break the bag. Put your fist through it. Four, three, four, four, three. Right, left, right. Right, left. Same patterns as we did for the straights and the kicks. These are all following the same patterns this entire session. Move around, move around. Re make sure you reset in between so you're not just flat-footed. You need to maintain that energy, maintain that flow and rhythm. Hips, hips, hips. Double hip on that double right. Finish with a strong left. Hard left hook to finish off the combo. Don't forget, whatever hand's not punching, how we keep those hands up, whatever hook is the punching, stays up here at your face. Protecting your face, keep it at home. Four, three, four, four, three. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Four, three, four, four, three. Hips, 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 elbows up and out. And time. Let's go right into it. This is our last two combos that we have to worry about for the day. We've got a lot to get to. These are our last two lower body combos. So pay attention. We're going to start now with the knees. Last round, you remember, we were starting with, it was kick, knee, kick, kick, knee. Now it's just going to be knee, kick, kick, knee, kick. So we're going to go left knee, right kick, left knee, left knee, right kick. So just get in your head, left knee, right kick. That's all you got to worry about. And then just say left, right, left, left, right. Exact same pattern we just did with the punches. It's just left knee, right kick, left knee, left knee, right kick. So it's just left, right, left, left, right. Knees on the left, kicks on the right. If you have it, go at your own speed. I'll still go through it one more time slow if you don't have it yet. It sounds more confusing than it is. Left knee, right kick, left knee, left knee, right kick, reset. So left, right, left. Left, right. Lefts or knees, rights or kicks, front kicks. 
left knee, right kick, left knee, left knee, double up that left knee, finish with a right kick. Reset in between. Let's, once you have it down, let's go full speed, full power, attack the air, attack the bag, hard strikes. Left, right, left, left, right. Knee, kick, knee, knee, kick, knee, kick, knee, knee, kick. That's what you need to be thinking it. Left, right, left, left, right. Right in that pattern, pump it. Drive those kicks in there, that front kick. Don't just flick your foot up there. It should be boom. Same with the knees, that left knee. Don't just lift your knee up. It should be drive it up, up higher. Drill your knee into your hands. Bang it. There we go. Now we're rolling. Pick up the pace chart. These are our last two of the kick combos of the day. Let's go hard on these. Move around. Push the pace. A lot of work to get those legs up in the air. Legs are much better than the arms. It takes a lot more energy. A lot more calories to get those legs moving. So push it. Focus. Work through it. Left knee. Right kick. Left knee. Left knee. Right kick. Couple more. Couple more. Ten seconds. Finish strong. Keep pumping it, keeping it moving. Nice technique, Tracy. Keep flowing. Good rhythm. Bang, keep those hands up. You can keep those hands up while you're kicking. And time. We're going right away to the alternate of that, the other version of that. It's just right knees and left kicks. Right, left, right, right, left. So right knee, left kick, right knee, right knee, left kick. Just right, left, right, right, left. Right, left, right, right, left. It's just right knees, left kicks. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Attack it. I'll go over into a couple more if you don't have it yet. Right knee, left kick, right knee, right knee, left kick. Knee, kick, knee, knee, kick. Right, left, right, right, left. Get that pattern. As long as you know the right, the knee, the left is the kick. Knee, kick, knee, knee, kick. Pump that out, get those hands up. If you're changing the distance on that bag, Donna, just get those hands up in between. When you're moving, when you're resetting. There you go, Michael, keep those hands up. Pump those knees, nice, good pace, good knees. Good elevation on the knees. There you go, Golden, get those legs up. Bend and extend, boom, drive it. Drive that kick. Yes, yes, yes. Couple more, couple more. This is your last kicks of the day. Finish off, finish off, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Squeeze as many of these comments as you can in the next 10 seconds. It's knee, kick, knee, knee, kick, left kick. Right knee, left kick, and time. We're gonna go right away to our last two variations of the punch combos. So we've already done one, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, three, four. So now it's five, six, five, five, six. Same exact pattern, just now with our uppercuts. So it's five, six, five, five, six. And one of the main folks you need to concentrate on here is that double punch like we've been talking about all day on that five. Five, so it's not just five, five with just your arm. It's crunch, crunch when you're doubling up. So no matter how many uppercuts I throw in a row, you can see I'm twisting for each one and a split second recoil for each one also. Let's do it. Go a little slower if you don't have it. It's left uppercut, right uppercut, left uppercut, left uppercut, right. So it's left, right, left, left, right. That's a five, six, five, Five, six, keeping it rolling. These are power punches. These are our last two main combos of the day. Finish strong here. Pump those out. Crunch, crunch, boom, boom, boom. Five, six, five, five, six. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Nice, nice. Keep it banging. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Five, six, five, five, six. Finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. You're there, you're there. Get that waist into it, twist into it. A few more, a few more. Got one more punch combo after this, and then a burnout. 
Five, six, five, five, six. Left, right, left, left, right. One more time. And time. And just hit me opposite of that. Start with the six. Exact opposite. So just six, five, six, six, five. It's all about that double pump. That's where you're getting that work in that abs. Five, six, five. Or sorry, six, five, six, six, five. Let's do it. It's all uppercuts. Right, left, right. Right, left. Reset, bounce, flow, rhythm. Six, five, six, six, five. Dig it, pump it, smash it. Six, five, six, six, five. There it is. Six, five, six, six, five. Boom, banging. Nice, nice, keep it moving. Dig, dig, dig. Finish strong, finish strong. It's our last variation of these combos right here. Finish off, it's all uppercuts. Get that waist into it. Get the lats into it. Twist. Get the legs turning, the hips moving. Power punches, hands up. Whatever hand's not punching, stays up your chin. Stay tight. Bang those punches. Finish strong, finish strong with thunder, with power. And Time, we're gonna finish off with just one last burnout. It's the fourth set of that intermission round we did because it was the fast pace, it's the most fun, it's the climber to run a punch. We're just gonna hit this last time to finish off. So you were down there for the four mountain climbers, come up for the four run a punch. You're gonna hit that 30 seconds all out and you are done. The 30 seconds will go faster, the faster you move, or it can last for 10 minutes if you move slow. Going in three, two, one, and boom, let's do it. Four mountain climbers to four run and punch. Get those knees up on the run and punch. Extend those arms. If you have a bag, you can still hit the bag on the run and punch. You should be hitting the bag on the run and punch. Just climb right next to it, side by side with it. Come up and bang the bag. Just fully extend those arms. Those punches come from your chin, like usual. Straight punches. Finish strong. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Pumping it, burning it, kicking it, blasting it. Yes, yes, yes. Boom, boom, boom. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Full speed. Four climbers, four running punch. Burn out. You got 15 seconds. You're done. 15 seconds. All out. Every minute two you got left. Burn this out. Push the pace. Blast it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Down on the floor. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Up. Ba -ba -ba -ba. One, three, four. Come up. One, three, four. Finish strong, finish strong, one more time, one more time each. Get down, get down. Last one. And time, and we are done. Come on up to the camera just for a second, shake it out, start stretching those shoulders out, stay loose. Now is the time for you help with any, you have any questions, you can help with the training, your nutrition, with modifications, with the workouts, with anything. Now is the time to talk about it. Also, we have coming up in two minutes from now, a 10-15 session, which I believe is over on Facebook, not on Zoom. But there are a couple times where there's Zoom sessions back-to-back. -back. So just always be aware, if you're ever coming into a Zoom session where there's another one finishing when you come in, just to make sure to mute yourself so you're not interrupting the session that's finishing off. You get thumbs up for that? Yes, because there's a couple days a week where there's back-to-back -back Zooms. It's not often, but it's two or three times a week. So just want to make sure that has a smooth transition from the end of one session to the beginning of another. No different than it was in the gym. When you came in the gym, you just stretched on your own. Same thing, you'll be on camera, you'll be with the group as they're finishing off, no big deal. Just mute yourself so they're not getting interrupted or whatever, and just wait for the next session to start. But today, it goes from Zoom to Facebook. So Facebook will be coming up next, I think. Alex, are you teaching Facebook or are you? Or... Uh, the laundry, the laundry's oh, on right now. Facebook coming up for a boot camp in a minute from now. If you freaks are looking for a little more activity in your home, that's up to you. All right, so don't forget, there's a six-week challenge coming up. You'll get an email, and there'll be a post about it today for you for members to, to sign up. If you're not going to need to fill anything out, it's going to be literally either responding to the email or just responding to the post in the VIP page because some people aren't in the VIP or miss it. So just respond to one of those. All you have to do is say I'm in or whatever, whatever it says in the email that I'm going to send out, which tells you to do, and you'll automatically be entered in to the challenge for free if you're a full member. But there is a link, if you've seen the post going out and, that I've been putting and the emails going out about the challenge that does have an actual link for non-members to sign up, please make sure you share that with your friends, your family members, your coworkers, refer them out, 
get them into the challenge. The more people we get into the challenge, the more people are going to help around the county that need help to dig themselves out of this hole, to help them during this crazy time. And then also the more that we could bring into the gym and get online on these sessions, the more sessions we live sessions we could add. Like you've seen, we just added a bunch this week and we want to keep filling up this schedule because this is where we're at right now. We are going to make it happen, continue to kick ass and get results and have fun. I just was showing you a fraction of this. I don't know if you can see the, the color of it. This is soap. And I'm just showing you like a fraction of this and my shirt is soap. I'm, I'm tired just from showing you one combo three crowns. So there's a crazy amount of work you're getting done over there. So nice work. If you need anything, let me know. There's a session starting on Facebook, so I'm going to let you go. If you want to go hop on to that, it's on Facebook Live. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Great you class. Nice Thank work. you, Coach Steve. Thank Bye, you. everybody. Coach, Take care, care, guys. Have a good morning. Bye, Have a good guys. day. Have a good day. You too. Have a great day. Yeah. How are you looking sharp? <laughs> All right, take care. Good job, coach. All right, Alex. Thanks for coming on. See you later.